Today I got a Shein haul. <laughs> Let's see what I picked up. So besides the press-ons, this was my second time shopping on Shein and I thought they would have more of like nail building products, but it's pretty much accessories and stuff. So I just went to the nail art section and picked up stuff that I don't have. Okay, you get, you get a little pamphlet. This is my haul. <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe that all of this stuff cost me $58.44? That is like a literal steal. So yeah, this is the nail art tool storage box. It looked smaller on the website, so I was like, oh yeah, I can just put my stuff in here. It's kind of big, but this was a dollar, so you know, you really can't complain much, I guess. So what's this big item? So this one is the one piece nail art pen nine piece replacement set. They kind of just fell all over the place, but I thought this was pretty cool. Especially, you know, the diamond had me. <laughs> but this is a, you know, nail art brush set and how you take these off. Okay, they screw in and out and you can change them out. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Next thing I got is this nail art palette. It is, take it off the packaging. But yeah, it's supposed to be like, you know, this is huge. I didn't think this was gonna be this big. I thought it was gonna be like a little small palette. But as you can see, it's like the size of my hand. Um, But yeah, you kinda, you can mix your colors and stuff in here. Uh, I guess if I got something really big to mix, but this is, this is pretty big. So these are some little, um, I forgot what you call them, little angels. But yeah, we got the pearl essence and the gold. Ooh, those look way prettier than they did on the website. And I got these red rhinestones. I wanted to get red because I don't have any like red crystals, so good pickup. I got these little brushes, these manicure brushes to help with, you know, cleaning and doing all that. I like to place these by my sinks in my house so I can clean my nails. People always say you need to brush under your nails and it's like, I already do that. And I got these dried flowers. Wait a minute. All right, if I can zoom in, let me see. All right, so I wanted to show y'all this up close. These aren't actually dried flowers. They are paper cut out of, <laughs> flower cutouts of paper. You know, it'll work for nails, but I thought I was getting dried flowers. It just says floral pattern nail art decoration. Okay, so that, you know, that was my bad for misunderstanding, but yeah, these are paper, but it's still really cute and they're really small and flat. And I got some more red crystals. You can never have enough red apparently, cause I don't have any. And then I picked up these. These are for when I'm doing my toenails and I wanna, you know, separate them. They're little, squishy silicone separators for your toes. And no, I will not be making any type of feet manicures or nail designs because y'all not seeing my feet. <laughs> no free feet pics. <laughs> I got this double headed smudge spongy tip thingy. <laughs> but this is basically for nail art when you want to ombre something. Picked up some green crystals. I got this nail scraper thing for when I take my nails off. I have these nail art hearts that are pretty cool when you put them in, I think they're UV light activated. They change colors. So one is pink and one is blue, but I don't know which one until I activate them. Let me see if I could do it real quick right now. All right, so I popped them in the nail lamp and this is the colors. Oh, this one went away fast, hold up. The pink ones are staying, okay. Yeah, you see the blue kind of dissipates right before your eyes. But I thought these were pretty cool. And I picked up this nail art kind of moldy thing. <laughs> Not moldy, but you know what I'm saying. This one is for like, why is it double bag? This is basically if you have one of those nail art decorations that are metal and they won't lay flat on the nail, you'll put it in the center of here and push it down and it'll like bend it to where it'll fit the bend of your nail and won't stick out. And I picked up this. It's just a fancy stirring rod. Like if you have, you know, gel pots or something you need to stir up, you know, more bougie nail art tools. Got some cute reindeer, some butterfly wings, some cherries. And of course I had to get the crystal version of the cherries. Got some Christmas stickers. I got some moon and star nail art decorations. That's the title. <laughs> um, so this is what the pieces look like. Yeah, these are metal. So these will work in that little molding thing I was telling you about to curve them. 
And these are some nail art glitters. They're hearts and butterflies. Finally, I got these butterflies. I thought these were so cute, y'all. Let me show y'all. They are, um, I believe they're like springs in them. So yeah, you pretty much, you know, adhere this to your nail, like, like that. <laughs> and then the wings kind of like do this springy thing. So yeah, that is my Shein haul. I know a lot of y'all like to correct me on how I'm saying Shein, but I looked it up and that's how you say it, Shein. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, because I didn't have any nail building stuff, just accessories, um, today I'm just gonna use what I wanna use. So my girl Poochie's Nails sent over some nail products. These are her full cover gel tips and I can't wait to try these out. You know, I always been a fan of Poochie's Nails, so whenever there's something new, I'm like, yes, I wanna try. <laughs> I actually do wanna take a look at all of the shapes cause I don't really know which ones I wanna use today. So we got the long point. Ooh, okay, they look like they are going to fit <laughs> just from seeing them. Okay, okay. Those are pretty long too, I like that. And then we got the long coffin. And since I know I'm a two now. Oh, those are nice. And then we have medium coffin. Okay, the sizes are a bit different. I may be a one in these. Yeah. Well, no. Maybe I need to go to. Okay, yeah, this one fits a little better. I will have to shape it because it, it overlaps just a tiny bit, but these are the medium coffin. And she got something that I've never seen before. Toe tips. <laughs> Gel toe tips. Why haven't anybody else thought of this? Like, this is genius. So, like I said, y'all won't be seeing any feet from me, but I just want to show y'all. Look at that, that is so cool. And if you can see the tab right there tells you what size you have. This is crazy. I would have never thought of toe gel tips. I'm gonna have to try that out and just let y'all see the final product because I'm not, not putting my feet on here, okay? <laughs> and then she also has the super hold glue gel and this is what you use to put on the gel tips. So. That's what we're gonna do today. So today, I think I'm gonna go with the medium coffin. I don't know what it is, y'all. I just, I just need a little break from extra, extra long nails. <laughs> All right, so I know that this one fits. This one's the size zero. So it does seem like the medium coffin ones run a little smaller. So I'm a zero in this one, but I was definitely a two in the longer ones for my thumb. All right, so I got my sizes picked out and we gotta do a little bit of prepping. Let me just make sure that all of these fit really well. We wanna do all the filing that we need to do before. I don't want any of the nail itself to hang over, so. All right, so for these, you do have to etch the inside. So got my nail drill and we're just gonna do a little etching. I'm just gonna file around the cuticle area just a little bit. We are all etched and prepped and all that good stuff. And now for the reappearance of this Melody Susie gooseneck lamp. I know the error of my ways. I even put it in the edit and I guess y'all didn't get to that part before y'all was trying to tell me how to use it, but I got it now y'all, I got it. <laughs> so per Poochie Snail's instructions, you can use the top coat as a base and we're gonna flash cure that for 10 to 15 seconds. All right, done. We're gonna use the glue gel and we're gonna put some, put a little bit inside. It didn't seem like you needed much, so let's see. Oh, she thick. <laughs> Gotta work her down. Just gonna take some like that and we're gonna put it up on the nail. We'll start a little bit further from the cuticle. Ooh. That stays in place. I'm in love already. Like, this is staying in place. This is all I be asking for. <laughs> Let's clean that up. We do not want that on our skin because it will burn, y'all. All right, and I just kind of want to, I want to like feather this out a little bit so it's not just a big glob underneath. Totally optional. And we got the lamp. 
we're going to cut it on and we're going to press the top to turn it to a UV. I got it, y'all. I got it. And we're going to cure. And I can feel it. It's curing. <laughs> All right. Just so y'all can see a little better. All right. That was easy. I do see that you kind of have to be a little careful with how much you put on here. You really don't need much. I'm just amazed at how this stays in place. <laughs> you can pretty much use any of the lamps you have to cure this because you know, you're you not gonna have a problem with it sliding. And I'm not going all the way to my cuticle. I need some alcohol, y'all, hold up. Isopropyl alcohol, okay? All right, let's see, let me just wipe it off. But yeah, I'm not going all the way to the, to the cuticle. This is my weird crooked finger, so. We're going to do it like that, and then we're going to do it like this. These gooseneck lamps are so much easier, y'all. If you can, get you one. All right, so as I'm working with this, I'm finding it easier to not like have it ooze out. Like this one turned out really well. And pretty much what I did was I did the same squeeze out and then taking my brush with a little bit of alcohol, I kind of scoot it back from the cuticle area and just like pretty much working it like poly gel and just kind of spread it about, kind of pushing it away from the cuticle area to where it's only like a really thin, you know, really thin layer there. Not thin, but you know, not a big glob. And then when I go to put it on the nail, I can just do like this and I don't have any squish out. I'm smart. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and cure. All right, so all the nails are on and I'm just gonna do my filing and shaping. So the nails are pretty much shaped already. You don't have to do too much, but you know, I like to clean up. I also wanna point out <laughs> kind of smearing it didn't really help. So um, I should have done a better job, but that's okay. Cause gel polish is going over it anyway. And then I'm gonna use a buffer just to buff the shine away from the nail. All right, so I did my buffing and now we're just going to work this around the cuticle area and get up any gel that kind of spewed out. And also this is to blend in the tip in any areas that you have to. Like on the side, I like it to be kind of smooth, smooth transition, so. That's what we doing. All right, the nails are all file shaped and buffed. Cute. It's not gonna be a complimentary design, but it's probably gonna look the same as I start off, but it ain't gonna be the same. Okay, so first I am going to put some base coat on. Base coat just makes everything smoother. And we're going in with Flattery. This is one of my favorite nail base colors. Like it matches me perfectly. And going in with this white gel liner, we're gonna do a little French. I need a white base, so that's why I'm doing this. All right, so French tips are on and I'm gonna go in with these alcohol inks. This one is, um, I got this a long time ago, y'all, but <laughs> this is like an easy way to do marble nails. So we're just gonna take a little bit and just put it on the nail. And then you can take a little brush and put more alcohol on it to create, you know, the marble effect that you want. I think I can use another color. Let me see what other colors I have. <laughs> so we're gonna do the obsidian black. Y'all, I've had these for so many years. I'm surprised that everything is still working. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little black. Not too much. <laughs> and that was starting to look like tie dye. See, I'm trying to get some more of them, of them lines. Okay. Something like that. And we're gonna do this for all of the nails. And like you just add the alcohol and it kind of does its own thing. Cool. So as y'all can see, 
I went with green because I wanted to use some of those green crystals. Hopefully it works out. All right, so this is what I have. Kind of looking like army camouflage fatigue or something. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with this gold liner and we're just gonna line the French very carefully. All right, so it's been a couple hours. We had to go get the kids from school and I just went ahead and put a top coat over the nails because I didn't want the marble inks to mess up. So that's what I did, top coat, that's it. But I am gonna do some embellishments. I did wanna use like the green, but the greens aren't, I probably might end up just using this one as an accent or something, but green's a little off, so I wanna use all the green <laughs> but I am gonna use some of these so I picked out uh, some moons and this is a perfect time to demonstrate what this is used for this is telling me to use some double faced adhesive tape I ain't got none of it right now and uh, we're just gonna use it like this you got this and I want to curve these little moon pieces because they're pretty much just flat See if I could just place it in here like this. All right, so we got that in there like that. Place this in here and sort of just put some pressure on it to bend it. Just press it down with some pressure. <laughs> okay, all right, so it looks like it did curve it. Y'all can see like from this angle. <laughs> Ever so slight, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, it's like a just a just a ever so slightly curve. I'm going to keep this inside of this package because I don't want to lose these pieces. I can put it inside my new nail art box. So we're just gonna plop that in there, make sure I don't lose it. I'm actually gonna put all this stuff in here because the organization in this studio is non-existent. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go in with a bling gel. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit right here. And then going in with the top coat, we're just gonna put a layer over. Gonna place a little star here. I know it doesn't seem like I'm using much of the Shein products, but like I said, they don't sell gel polish or acrylic, poly gel. It's only little nail trinkets, so this is what you get. I am curious to know why they don't sell those those things. I wonder if it's like a shipping issue, but that would make sense because people ship stuff like that all the time, so I don't know. If y'all know, let me know in the comments. Why Shein don't sell acrylic or poly gel or anything to build a nail with? We're gonna grab us our little, ah, it fell, but we're gonna put it like that. Ooh, the curve definitely helps. I'm just gonna put a little diamond right here. I kinda want it to look like that a little bit. Oh, now I'm feeling like I can put something else. The ideas are cooking. <laughs> I wanna put some caviar beads on. It's not Shein, but so what? Right here. And we're gonna put a teeny tiny one. Ooh, okay, it's coming together. This is making me feel so much better because I was like, ooh, the green don't match. But it's okay. All in the details, y'all. If y'all learn anything from my content, y'all see that I don't give up. <laughs> I don't give up on a design like, oh, okay. I like this. <laughs> Let me go ahead and cure this before I mess it up. All right. We are done with the embellishments. Now I do wanna crispen up this shape a little bit because with gel polish, you gonna always need to fix the shape a little bit. Take the 180 side of my file and just lightly get my shape back. Not sure if y'all can see the difference, but these two are filed and these two are bubbly. <laughs> and now we just apply our cuticle oil. And here is the finished look. I wasn't too sure about these, but these turned out cute, okay? <laughs> I 
I really like this. This is really different from what I normally do, you know. I love pink, so this is kind of kind of different for me. So if you want to see me try more Shein products, check out this video right here. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.